Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It's about a little before 11 a.m. It's already upper 80s. It's going to hit mid 90s today. Uh, some clouds here and there, so I'm enjoying that. A little bit of a breeze. Could be worse. Uh, let's see. Yesterday, I left here at 6 11 a.m. Woke up at 5 30. Woke up before 5 30. But left here at 6 11 a.m as soon as it was light enough for me to drive and I didn't get home last night until 12.08 right after midnight so it was a very long day I did not take one second of video yesterday and I apologize for that so I'm hesitant to, hesitant to even talk about yesterday because video or it didn't happen so there was no video uh, I'll probably talk about it. Uh, it we went on a me and Drew went on a road trip to Texas his hometown, family, friends, and just one day there and back, and so that's what we did, but I didn't get any video because I'm not the best YouTuber on the planet, and that's all right. I might talk more about that later. It was just, uh, just a road trip. Okay, what else? Uh, so first thing this morning, I had to take care of uh, feeding the chickens, and well, well, last night I had to go around and collect eggs and count heads, make sure everybody is... Uh, is uh, present and accounted for so first thing usually with my chicken chores I've got five flocks that I'm taking care of uh, four flocks and the nine babies but they're get their own feed and water so I'm taking care of five flocks uh, usually what I do is I break uh, the feeding up first thing in the morning and then a little bit later in the morning like 10 to 11 is when I do the water earth and I can check the water first thing in the morning but I typically keep two waterers in every flock, except for the babies. So if one of them gets tipped over or whatever, they've got a backup. So uh, first thing in the morning when I'm feeding them, I can check the waterers. Usually they've got plenty. And then at 10 or 11, I will rotate uh, out one of the two waterers in their, uh, in their chicken runs. And so that's kind of how I keep it going. That usually takes a good 20 minutes for feeding and 20 minutes to half an hour for the water. So that's something I do every day around here that I that I don't film, you know, kind of like uh, frying eggs and making sandwiches and doing dishes and, uh, you know, stuff like that. I, I just, I have no interest in filming that. I don't know. Maybe I will uh, at some point. But I am rambling. So... Today I'm not going to do much. I am very exhausted from yesterday, and it was a good day, but very exhausting. And I've got some other stuff to get done today, but right now it is, it's really getting hot, and the chickens are all taken care of, so uh, yeah, time to slap together a, a sandwich and do some dishes. Hey, I've got a rogue daylily blooming out there. Yeah, you're a late bloomer this year, I'll take it.
Well, it's 7 p.m. and other than a three hour long nap, I didn't do much. Put some stuff away from the road trip yesterday. Oh boy. Um, yeah, we went to Texas, the Fort Worth area. I had only been in Texas one other time when I was driving from Sacramento to Arkansas once. I, uh, I think I spent the night in Amarillo. But uh, that's all I, that's the only time I've been to Texas was driving through. So I figured Drew had, well he has his motorcycle which needs new tires. And he's got his very uh, low mileage per, uh, uh, per mile truck. And so I'm like, hey, I got nothing, I got nothing better to do. Let's, uh, let's take a road trip to Texas. So that's what we did. And it wasn't without events. <laughs> Right as we were getting ready to leave, my radiator sprung a leak. This is the same radiator that I replaced a year ago that I still had the receipt for that in the glove compartment, but that doesn't do you any good in Texas. But luckily with Drew and his friends there, uh, we were able to, um, well, there's this stuff that you can put in it to plug the leak, and it was just a small leak. See, it was like 103 degrees down there, and then plus you're in the city with all that concrete, so yeah, that my truck just did not like that heat. It was way too hot for it, especially after uh, 300 miles. So yeah, the radiator sprung a leak, and we were freaking out there for a little bit, but uh, uh, with Drew and his friends putting their heads together, that we figured out how to get me back home. And so now I can now I can take care of the radiator here on my own schedule. And uh, oh, we also discovered one of my headlights is out, and that makes for no fun driving after dark. But it is what it is. It was it was fun. I got to meet some of Drew's uh, family and friends, and uh, got to see a bit of Texas. And I got to remind myself that the city life and all that traffic is not for me anymore. I've dealt with that. I've dealt with that and I am not wanting to deal with that again. Although it's easier driving in the city at night than it is out in the country, but other than that, I really have no desire to go back to a busy city like that. So, all right, not much uh, action, no action on today's video. I apologize for that. Probably not much action tomorrow either. I'm still recovering. Bob's here at my feet. So with that, sorry this is not that great of a video, but it's, you know, it's a video log, so that's what it is. And we'll see if I get some filming done tomorrow, and I've got a couple projects in mind if I get to them. Uh, if not, then you won't see a video from me, and I'm just, you know, going with the flow out here. So thanks so much for watching, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll catch you guys later. Take her easy.